Okay, uh, this is uh, part two of the 191st broadcast of the T. Rowe Show. Now, I'm going to share screens with you here. I just saw another thing <clears throat> that is a problem. Settlement of the United States Incorporated. We have plainly recognized the closure of the bankruptcy of United States Inc. and 90-day vacancy of Washington, D.C. required. We have also plainly told you that all, you, uh, all that we received back except and acknowledge all rights and delegated powers and properties that are naturally ours by operation of law, including possession of the grounds and improvements vested in the capital city, known as the municipality, and blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing, folks. You were never a party to it. I was never a party to it because I never gave my power of attorney to speak for me. That's right. So the United States, uh, uh, then she has these marks here, unincorporated. That's an entity outside of a country, by the way. That's not talking about the country. That's talking about her little creation, Anna's little creation. Is the holding company for all mutually held powers of the American states and the people in foreign jurisdictions. Seriously? You're saying it's unincorporated, but you're calling it the holding company. You're saying it's incorporated, yet you just declared it a company. I'll say that again for anybody that's watching this, that has, especially this following Anna's BS, she just said it was incorporated and it is a holding company. Is that waking anybody up if you're reading that, talking to the audience here? And unincorporated is a holding company. It should, because even if you haven't done business in your life, go look up the term and you'll see they don't equate together, whatever. Right. She calls it unincorporated, has been plastering that all over the, the, the internet, and then calls it a company at the same time. The failure to or compromise of the states of America Confederation merely returns all delegated roles and responsibilities to the United States of America by the same operation of law. That makes no sense whatsoever because you just called it a company. By calling it a company, you just broke what you said after that, and you just lied through your whole government. We are only standing in actual, in actual government of these United States, formed 1776, and we are presenting ourselves without representation. Well, then you don't know anything about international law because you were supposed to send an ambassador if you had, if your was, you were worth a shit and knew what you were talking about. You do not have a, a government in any way, shape or form. We know that for a fact, and we're not going to tell you how to fix it, Anna, because you're lying anyways. We recognize this entire war against common cold virus is a simulated war exercise staged on our shores. Uh, you don't have any shores, Anna, because you're a subject of the Pope with the primary aim of uh, 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 accessing defense funding and keep the USA incorporated functioning during the above reference 90 day shutdown of Washington, DC. Okay, now basically what happens is, is the real, the United States of America, starts falling away out of this because she's going under the contracts of the three city state empire. Now she's talking about what's going on with DC and all this other kind of crap. We don't care at that time. The real, the United States of America does not give a shit at this time, what she says amongst the three city state empire, because we're not a part of it. The three city state empire. Although we have been recognized as being a part of the United States of America. So there's one thing where you can get the United States or the name of your country recognized. It's something completely different to have you being associated with that country. And Anna von Reitz has not been associated in any way, show, uh, shape or form, legal or lawful, to be a part of the United States of America or the country at all, because she took a, a blood oath to the, uh, to the uh, universal Catholic church that is run by the Pope and her ass belongs to the Pope. Anybody care to say anything about that? Yeah, if that's the case, she's not even an American. No, she's not. She can't swear allegiance to two entities at the same time. If she swore to the Pope, that, that is her allegiance. And that's all she can hold. 
She can't count him allegiance to anything else down the line. And that is her contract <clears throat> that she's, yep. I believe she's talking about. Yep. She's already told everybody what the contract was. Now, the reason why we're doing this, this is not to slander or slam Anna. Anna's easy to, if we wanted to do that, that's easy. We've already done that. Okay. Uh, we've already slammed her with crap for, for, I think, about an hour and 20 minutes. Okay. I think I called her a stupid bitch probably, what, 50 times? <clears throat> I think it was actually about 10, but that's me. All right. She has, she has come out with all this crap. She's doing, trying to pull the same lies on us that she does everybody else. And those other people might listen to that, but we don't. Okay? At all. Says, uh, here she says, notice to agents and notice is notice to principals, notice to principals. Not, uh, okay. All patriot gurus do this. Every one of them do it. <laughs> we watch it all the time. Am I right? John, you've seen these groups for a long time. Yes, sir. I sure have. And I've been I've been watching them about forty years doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and and what we told her is completely refuse, Dana, because you're not addressing a company, a corporation. You are addressing a country. Young lady, old lady, whatever they want to call yourself, you're addressing a country. Your lie about some kind of Scottish crap, that, that never flies. Now, why are we bringing this up and why is this, why is this pertinent? She's, you've got an agent right there in front of you folks that is telling you straight up she is with the New World Order and she's going to fight for your rights. And you're going to get a pot of gold at the end of that, of that fight. That's what she's telling you. That is a way to get you into the New World Order. To give up all your rights to the New World Order. You're not getting any rights at all. The New World Order doesn't give rights. They take them. Communism doesn't give you rights. It takes them. As long as she's been uh, doing this, however long that might be, five years, whatever it is, she's done more for what you just said than the other way around at all. So, yeah, hoodwinked and all kind of people. She's what she's done. Exactly. Now, why would she say, okay, why would she do this? Why would she say that this all goes back under the original Constitution? And why would she try to bring in the United States of America, the original Confederacy of 1781, into the Constitution? It's because they're trying to bring slavery back. They want a world slavery. Slavery was legal under 1789 Constitution. They're the ones that brought slavery back, the New World Order. When she's talking about 1776, she's talking about the other Declaration of Independence. There were two. She's not talking about the one that you're talking about, that people were thinking about. They're talking about the other one that brought slavery. Back then, they were called Illuminists. Today, they're called Illuminati and also known as communists. And that has been sitting on the back of your dollar bill, the Federal Reserve note, for the last, since 1934. They have given you notice that they are communists. This is written cunningly. It's written with, uh, uh, with um, uh, there's no decree, by the way, and it's written with um, uh, creative writing to piss you off. Uh, we're going to get those guys. We're going to get them. We're going to get them. And they do this rah-rah all the time. Now, I don't know what else you signed. So uh, I think you were talking about this, uh, uh, Chris, about people emailing you, trying to get out of this mess. Mm-hmm. What'd they say? Well, they, they wanted to know a little bit more about our group. And um, it basically, we're trying to um, get out of liability for what they had done. Okay. Yeah, they were calling it a group. I know that. <clears throat> they always do. Okay. Now, this is what's really happening. Now, we've proven this beyond a shadow of a doubt. Completely refused. We refused all her BS. 
a country you were trying to steal on behalf of a foreign monarch, your boss, Pope Francis, so your master can go forward with the New World Order. That's exactly what they're doing. And people are, are being told that they're going to get this pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and all these things are going to happen, and, and you guys are greater than anybody else because you're the living people, the living being, and you're greater than everyone else. They feed your ego. It's, a, it's classic bullshit. Actually, it's classic cult-type cult, uh, type activity. She throwed the hook out there. She baited it with money, gold, because that's what most people look forward to is having, having all they need to take care of their families. Yep. So you won't have to worry. Yep. But she's the one and her buddies that she's contracted with. You saw the contract yourself. You saw what she said. They're the ones that are causing the worry. Right here. In 2015, you claim to be a citizen of the United States. You're now claiming another fraudulent status. Completely made up out of thin air. There is no political organization known as American States Assembly recognized by anything or anywhere on the planet. It's a complete fraud. Now, by the 11th, we're going to show the world that she's a thief. She stole the meets and bounds of a, of a country, tried to, and is trying to give it over to the Pope through her contracts with the three-city state empire. But we caught her. So as long as our witness is there that she, th that she stole it, the Pope doesn't have anything. The three-city state empire doesn't have anything. And they don't have the legal right to come forward with a communist regime. He was stopped in 2015, and to be stopped again now. Because it says in the good book, book folks, <clears throat> and what they're trying to do is this. It says in the good book that, that um, the son or of the devil is supposed to subdue the world and bring it into slavery and, and uh, cause every man a woman and child to, um, I mean, this is just off the top of my head, it's not verbatim, to have a mark on their forehead and on their right hand. Now, unless you're him or that, that, uh, that Jekyll, then you're not supposed to be involved in some, any kind of new world order. Because I believe, I mean, am, am I right on that, John Mark? I'm, I think I'm right. You are 100% correct. And people need to wake up because they're getting led down a wide road. <laughs> and don't forget that the the, uh, uh, the John Adams show we have on the uh, T Row show, but um, and you'll be able to see it. It's it's uh, it's in one of the uh, uh, in the menu. Now, if that's the case, why are, are these people and believe these? Why are these people? involving themselves in something that has nothing to do with them. That the good book said it was supposed to be the, the beast. Now, if you're not a beast, okay, you're not supposed to be involved in any kind of new world order. Anywhere. And only the devil will claim a debt. If you're doing the devil's work, yeah, they'll say you owe you're owed something. That is not the uh, the the way the world works today. It all works under the new covenant, and there's uh, ne neither a borrower or a lender be. If you're going to be giving somebody money, that's just it. It's funny you you, you would say that, and also throughout uh, this presentation, I don't think I've ever heard her or her group, whatever they are talk about what a lot of the world considers a cuss word and it's four letters called work there's work to be done and she don't talk about work <laughs> never it's always sit back do nothing and give me your crap give me all your stuff that you've earned and you work for that is the motto of her non-existent organization whatever you want to call it I can't even define it as a company. I can just define it as a group, I guess, just a group that comes together. 
and they all talk about how much is owed to them and how much they're going to take over everybody else's work and their companies and how much they're going to take because they're, they're claiming it's all theirs. Well, you know who does that? Uh, of a, a, a communist. A communist does this. A communist will work for a company for six months and then claim the company is theirs. Claim that if it's a, if it's a construction company, they got paid every day to work for that construction company. And whatever building, this is their thinking now, whatever building is built, they believe that they own. That's publicly owned. That's owned by the state and publicly owned. It's publicly owned and taken care of by the state because they all worked on it. I, I'm, I'm not kidding, guys. I heard that directly out of this kid's mouth, this communist mouth. He really thinks that. Okay? And that's exactly what this sounds like, what I've been reading and some of the things that have been written um, uh, with uh, and Anna's writings and stuff. Like that. She speaks like a pure communist. Well, in that so-called decree, it was just literally one after another. It was just an attack on uh, capitalism. Mm -hmm. That's how I. That's how I saw it. Absolutely correct. That's, that's how I see it too. So, if you want to be a communist, go to another country. I think Russia was. Uh, actually, I don't think Russia does that anymore. Oh, you can go over to China. They're they're communists over there. They like being communist. And I don't know why, but they do. It's kind of a stupid thing. <clears throat> why would you give up all your rights? And keep in mind, guys, you'll notice that, you know, uh, she'll bring up God every once in a while, maybe bring up Jesus every once in a while. But honestly, communism, there is no church. Churches don't exist in communism. It's all the state. And she rah rahs the people. Get the power of the people every single time. Doesn't really create any kind of organization. She rah rahs the people because she always wants to be able to say that we're unincorporated with those, those evil corporations, those evil capitalists, okay? Evil capitalists. And uh, so she rah rahs the people to fight, fight, fight. That's a communist. That's how they are. They do the same thing on every, in every uh, 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 city in, the, in, in this country right now. They're all just fighting. They're the ones that are throwing and heaving um, uh, 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 objects at cops in the back of the head. Those are communists. And if you want to be on that side, go right ahead. There's going to come a time where the communists are going to get what they got coming to them. They are godless people. And they're going to get what they got coming to them real soon. And Anna and her groups and all the stuff that she's created with these Continental Marshall BS and all this other crap that she's doing out of a, a no authority whatsoever to do it, yeah, that's, she's going to be on that side. First and foremost, you don't want monarchs here. That's treason. Second, you don't want communists here. That's treason. Third, you don't want socialism, uh, socialism here. That's treason. The original Confederacy of 1781 agreed with that. All the original states had that. Uh, they want to bottom up. And um, uh, uh, the uh, United States company has not really pushed that as much as they are now. You mean old communism? Yeah. 1954, they wrote and outlawed it. That's right. That's where one thing that we all agree on with them and with the U.S. The company is they don't like communism and neither do we. And that's where we can come together in compact if we'd like. A treaty, whatever you want to do it. Um, but keep in mind, folks, you now have the evidence sitting in front of you. And for all you ladies, and it's usually the women, okay, you're easily swayed towards communism because you want the security of the state because it benefits you we all get that, and that's what they, that's how they lured you in. They, and, the, and the divorces, you started getting all the stuff. And when they did that, they started converting you to communism. That's where you're, you're getting all these Karens, and I call it Karenism. Karenism is communism, socialism, same difference. She's a commie. She just doesn't realize she's a commie. You are violating state law orders from the governor. 
and I'm going to call the police and I'm just going to do this, this, and maybe, and I'm going to hit you with this and I'm, I'm justified. Yeah. That's, that's called uh, having an affair with the state. <laughs> you just like the term Karenism. That's all. <laughs> Cause I coined that phrase Karenism, but, uh, yeah, that's a woman that has uh, uh, that has converted to communism. That's those communist ch communist chicks are, man, they're crazy. They're nuts. They will stick up for the state till the till death. They'll even pick up sticks that are six foot long and, and poke people with it if they get too close, because the state said that that's what you're supposed to do. That's a communist. I, w I wouldn't say excuse me for saying this, but that's that's one of the easiest wa ways to walk down a wide road the wrong way. Oh my gosh! And they want to gamble and throw that dice to make that choice. Oh, I hate it, man! Y'all need to rethink that. Yeah, because the the road to uh, to heaven is a straight and narrow. That's exactly right, and it's it's not always easy, and it wasn't made to be that way, but it does give you the proper direction and the proper way to, to walk and to go. So. It's sad to watch. I don't really, uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is this, and this is mainly the reason why we do this. We don't, I don't like seeing people get hurt. My reaction to that may be misinterpreted sometimes because I see people getting hurt or they're hurting themselves doing something stupid. Like this guy putting his uh, putting his lean in, getting it um, uh, uh, recorded. Uh, we told him, and you know, we've never said to record it. And he goes and does it because he's communist. Okay, communist thinking. He thinks he has to have the permission of the state. Um, anything they do by themselves without the permission of the state is considered not valid. That's a communist. Y'all get that? That's a religion that you're dealing with. That's called idol worship. So when people say anything like that, that's what happens. Uh, I'll, however, you do need to publish it. <clears throat> now, second thing is, um, uh, when somebody's uh, promising you something and they're contracted with somebody else, they first call it unincorporated and then they say it's a company at the same time. That is lying. That's a lying communist. Sucking you into communism and trying to bring the people to violence. Rah, rah, we're going to fight, fight, fight. They're stealing everything from us. Well, I don't, I don't envy the people at Walmart. I don't envy them at all. You know how many worries and crap that they got to deal with on a daily basis? You know how long they work per day? We're talking 16 to 18 hours a day. Just enough. Some of them work two or three days in a row just to get you so you can get a cheap TV. I don't envy them. You made your money, you earned it, it's yours. They're not taking a damn thing from me. <laughs> they can have it, that's capitalism. If I wanna start my own business, I will start my own business and I'll work hard and I'll make money. You can still do that, you know. So <clears throat> take this for what it is. This is a warning to you, everyone that's doing this. I don't know what else you signed. We're going to have to review it in committee. If you want to get out of that communism, if you want to get out of that three city state empire <clears throat> and all you're doing is validating what's happened to you anyways. Uh, and you're losing any kind of, um, uh, of, of remedy. I might be able to find a way for it. I'm not sure. I'm not going to say I will. If I can't, I'll just tell you, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You're going to have to break this through the blood of Christ. This is the only way I can do this because you're contracted with the New World Order. And if you're contracted with the New World Order, they're devil worshipers, you're contracted with their religion. So I'm sorry, folks. It's just the way it is. We're going to proceed with the, on the 11th, and the whole world's going to see that she's a thief. Now, if you can't see that she's a thief and a communist and you still want to support that, have at it. Good luck. You're not going to get anywhere. And notice to the rest of the world on this particular T-Row show on the uh, second of 191. All right? 
whatever this woman says, Anna Von writes, whatever she says, and she acts like she's speaking on behalf of the United States of America, it is a fake, it is a lie, and it is a fraud. She has absolutely nothing to do with the United States of America. Just five years ago, she was claimed to be a citizen of the United States under the 1789 Constitution. And I can second that one all the way in 100% wholeheartedly. All she's trying to do is bring about communism, go back to the 1789 and get the real constitution bullshit, split the constitutions in two because she wants slavery because that's what her master told her. That's what the three city state empire wants is slavery. They want to go back to the old Roman ways where slavery was, uh, uh, was legal. That's why they want to do that. And that's why you're being brought back under that contract or that agreement. As a slave, you're not even a party to it. You all understand that? You're not a party to the Constitution. You haven't signed it. You haven't done anything to create it. Therefore, you are not subject to it. However, if they subject you to it, now you are now a slave. Get it? That's the way it works. Thanks for listening to the 191st broadcast of the T-Row Show. We hope, this, uh, we, we hope this helps you in your decision-making. Watch these traps. There are many gurus that are out there. you got to be very careful because what they are doing has real-world um, um, <clears throat> repercussions. And I'm telling you, the guy that, that, that put that $100 million lien, that's two felonies. He goes to jail for that. The hundred million dollar bond on him on himself, that's 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 a felony. We just showed you what she's doing, felonies, trying people without trials and all this other stuff and no indictments. I'm just telling you. You gotta watch what you're doing. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next week.